One Dime 2021D. The Roosevelt Dime was first minted in 1946 to honor Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd president of the United States who led the country through the Great Depression and World War II. His leadership and the creation of the March of Dimes campaign to combat polio made him a fitting figure to be commemorated on this small but significant coin. Fast forward to 2021. The Denver Mint produced over 1 billion Roosevelt Dimes, making the 2021D Dime one of the most common dimes in circulation today. However, don't let the high minage fool you, there are some interesting aspects to consider. Composition 91.67% copper, 8.33% nickel, diameter 17.91 mm, weight 2.27 grams, mint mark D for Denver. Now let's talk value. In general circulation, a 2021D dime is worth its face value of 10 cents. However, the real value comes in high grade coins. If you have a 2021D dime in MS65 condition or higher, it could be worth around $2 to $5 depending on the market. Those in MS67 or higher could fetch $10 or more. MS652 $5, MS67 $10. Of course, prices fluctuate, so always check the latest coin value guides or consult a professional appraiser. B roll graded dimes in protective cases, coin value guides. Errors can make modern coins like the 2021D dime particularly valuable. Some error dimes might include misaligned dies, off center strikes, or doubled dies. These errors can significantly increase the coin's value, sometimes reaching into the hundreds of dollars depending on the rarity and demand. One dime 2014P. The Roosevelt dime has been a staple of U.S. currency since 1946, following the death of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The dime was designed by John R. Sinak, the chief engraver of the U.S., mint at the time. It was introduced to honor Roosevelt's legacy, particularly his efforts in founding the March of Dimes, which aimed to combat polio, a disease he personally battled. Since its introduction, the Roosevelt dime has undergone several design changes, but it has remained one of the most commonly circulated coins in the United States. The 2014 P dime is part of this ongoing tradition. Let's zoom in on the 2014 P Roosevelt dime. The P mint mark indicates that this coin was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, one of the main facilities of the U.S. Mint. This dime is composed of a copper core with an outer layer made of 75% copper and 25% nickel, giving it that familiar silver appearance. The obverse of the coin features the iconic profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt, while the reverse showcases a torch, an olive branch, and an oak branch symbols of liberty, peace, and strength, respectively. In 2014, the Philadelphia Mint produced over 1.2 billion Roosevelt dimes. With such a high mintage, the 2014 P dime is relatively common, making it readily available for collectors and still frequently seen in everyday change. Now let's talk about value. In circulated condition, the 2014 P dime is typically worth its face value of 10 cents. However, if you have a coin in uncirculated or mint state, its value can be slightly higher. A 2014 P dime in MS65 condition, for example, might be worth around $1.50 to $3, depending on the demand among collectors. For those looking for something more valuable, keep an eye out for coins with errors or unique characteristics, like off-center strikes or double dies. These error coins can fetch a premium, sometimes reaching values of $50 or more. If you want to start collecting or already have a 2014 P dime, it's essential to know how to identify its condition and preserve it properly. Look for key features like luster sharpness of the strike and any signs of wear or damage. To keep your dimes in the best possible condition, store them in a cool, dry place, ideally in a coin holder or album. Avoid handling coins with bare hands to prevent oils from your skin from tar- One dime 2015 D. The Roosevelt dime has been a staple of American currency since 1946, introduced to honor the 32nd President of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt. His leadership during the Great Depression and World War II made a lasting impact on the nation, and the dime was chosen as a tribute partly due to his efforts in founding the March of Dimes, which aimed to combat polio, a disease Roosevelt himself struggled with. The design, created by John R. Sinak, the chief engraver of the U.S., mint at the time, features Roosevelt's profile on the obverse and a torch, olive branch, and oak branch on the reverse, symbolizing liberty, peace, and strength. Now, let's fast forward to 2015. The D mint mark on this dime indicates it was struck at the Denver Mint, one of the primary facilities of the U.S. Mint. Over 1.5 billion dimes were minted in Denver that year, making the 2015 D dime quite common in circulation. As with most modern dimes, the 2015 D is made of a clad composition comprising a core of pure copper with an outer layer of copper nickel. This gives the coin its distinctive silver-like appearance, though it contains no actual silver. Alright, let's talk value. Since the 2015 D Roosevelt dime is so common, it usually carries a value of just face value minus 10 cents, especially if it's in circulated condition. However, for those in uncirculated or near-perfect condition, known as mint state coins, the value can go up slightly coins graded by professional services like PCGS or NGC with a grade of MS67 or higher can be valued between $1 and $2. Higher grades or those with unusual errors or variations can fetch more. But for most of us, the 2015 D dime is worth exactly what it says, minus 10 cents. 
Even though the 2015 D. Roosevelt dime isn't a rare or highly valuable coin, it's still an important piece of our everyday currency. For collectors, it's a great example of modern minting and a reminder of Roosevelt's enduring legacy. If you come across one in your pocket change, take a moment to appreciate the history it represents. One dime, 1999p. The Roosevelt dime has been a staple in American currency since its introduction in 1946. Named after President Franklin D. Roosevelt, the dime was first minted to commemorate his leadership and legacy, especially his efforts to combat polio through the March of Dimes campaign. Now let's focus on the 1999p Roosevelt dime. The P mint mark indicates that this coin was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. In 1999, the Philadelphia Mint produced a staggering 2,562,550,000 dimes. Yes, over 2.5 billion dimes were minted, making it one of the more common dimes in circulation. Despite its high mintage, the 1999p Roosevelt dime is still an interesting coin for collectors. Why? Well, it's all about condition errors and variations. First, let's talk about condition. Coins are graded on a scale from poor P1 to perfect mint state MS70. For circulated 1999p dimes, they typically hold their face value of 10 cents, but if you have an uncirculated or higher grade example, the value can increase. A mint state 65M S65 dime, for instance, could be worth around $2 to $5, depending on the market. Now, what about errors? Error coins can significantly increase a dime's value. For example, a 1999p Roosevelt dime with a noticeable misstrike double die or an off-center error can fetch anywhere from $50 to over $100, depending on the rarity and severity of the error. Let's not forget about the full torch or full bands designation. This refers to the bands on the torch on the reverse side of the dime being fully struck and visible. Dimes with full bands and higher grades are highly sought after and can command a premium price, sometimes upwards of $20 to $50 to $50. So what should you be looking for in your 1999p dimes? Pay close attention to the condition, any possible errors, and check for the full bands on the reverse side. Even though it's a common coin, the right combination of these factors can make it quite valuable. In summary, while the 1999p Roosevelt dime might seem like just another coin in your pocket, it holds a piece of history and potential value, especially for collectors. So next time you come across one, give it a closer look. You never know what hidden treasure you might have. 1967 one dime. First, let's start with the basics. The 1967 dime is a product of the United States Mint. Featuring the iconic design by John R. Sinak, it's made of 91.67% silver and 8.33% copper, weighing in at 2.27 grams and measuring 17.91 millimeters in diameter. On the obverse, we have President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who has graced the dime since 1946. Sinek's design captures Roosevelt in profile with the word Liberty above and the year 1967 below. You'll also spot in God We Trust and the mint mark, which in 1967 will either be a D for Denver or no mint mark for Philadelphia. Flip the coin over and you'll see the reverse design featuring a torch flanked by an olive branch and an oak branch. This design symbolizes freedom and peace. The word one dime is prominently displayed above. The year 1967 was a period of significant change. It was during the late 1960s, a time marked by social upheaval and cultural shifts. Interestingly, 1967 was also a transitional period for U.S. coinage, with the gradual phasing out of silver content and coins. This was part of a broader effort to cope with the rising costs of silver, leading up to the Coinage Act of 1965, which eliminated silver from most circulating coins. So what's the value of a 1967 dime? In general, these coins are not particularly rare or valuable in everyday circulated condition. Most 1967 dimes are worth their face value of 10 cents or slightly more if they're in higher grades. However, if you're lucky enough to find one in exceptional mint state, it might fetch a premium, especially if it's from a rare mint mark. In terms of silver value, the 1967 dime containing approximately 0.0.072 ounces of silver will have a value based on current silver prices. Keep in mind that silver prices fluctuate, so it's always a good idea to check the latest rates. For collectors, finding a 1967 dime in mint condition can be a rewarding experience. Be sure to handle your coins with care, using gloves to prevent tarnishing. Consider storing them in protective holders to preserve their condition. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into the 1967 dime. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, understanding the history and value of these coins adds a layer of appreciation to your collection. 1962 D1 cent. The 1962 D Lincoln cent, also known as the wheat penny for earlier versions, is part of the Lincoln Memorial Design Series that ran from 1959 to 2008. By 1962, the U.S. Mint had been producing Lincoln pennies for over 50 years. This particular coin was minted in Denver, and you can tell because of the small D mark just below the date. 
During 1962, the Denver Mint produced 1.79 billion pennies, making this a common coin in circulation at the time. But don't let that high mintage number fool you certain conditions and features can make this penny more valuable than you think. Let's talk about what this coin is made of and its design details. The 1962D Lincoln cent is made of 95% copper and 5% zinc, which is typical of pennies minted before 1982, when the mint switched to a primarily zinc composition. On the inverse side of the coin, you have Abraham Lincoln's profile designed by sculptor Victor David Brenner. His initials VED can be seen on the shoulder of Lincoln's bust. The reverse side features the Lincoln Memorial, which was designed by Frank Gasparro and replaced the Wheat Ears design in 1959. If you look closely at this design, you can even spot a tiny engraving of Lincoln sitting inside the memorial. So what's this coin worth? Well, let's break it down by condition. Circulated condition. Most 1962 pennies in circulated condition are worth one to two cents, primarily due to their copper content, which gives them a small intrinsic value. Uncirculated condition. If you have a 1962 D penny that's uncirculated, meaning it hasn't been used or shows little wear, it could be worth anywhere from 25 cents to $2. Coins that are graded as mint state 65 or higher can fetch up to $10 or more at auction. Error coins, some rare error coins from 1962 are worth significantly more. Look out for things like double die errors or off-center strikes. These coins can be worth hundreds of dollars depending on the severity of the error and the coin's condition. So what should you look for when you're checking out a 1962 penny in your collection? Mint state, the higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. Errors, keep an eye out for doubling or off-center strikes. Luster color, red pennies or pennies that still have their original copper luster tend to be more valuable than brown or worn out ones. 1994 is one cent. The 1994 US one cent coin is part of the long running Lincoln cent series, which began way back in 1909. By 1994, these pennies were already a staple in American pocket change, featuring the famous portrait of President Abraham Lincoln on the front, designed by Victor D. Brenner. On the reverse, you'll find the iconic Lincoln Memorial, designed by Frank Gasparro. This design had been used since 1959, celebrating the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's birth. Now, let's go over a bit of history. The Lincoln Memorial design was replaced in 2009 by the Lincoln Bicentennial Series, so these 1994 pennies belong to the classic era of U.S. pennies, which many collectors adore. So, what's this penny made of? The 1994 U.S. penny has a composition of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper, with a total weight of 2.5 grams. Before 1982, pennies were primarily made of copper, but to save costs, the U.S. mint switched to a copper-plated zinc planchet. This means your 1994 penny is mostly zinc underneath that copper coating. There were three major mint locations that produced the 1994 penny. Philadelphia no mint mark, Denver with a D mint mark, and San Francisco with an S mint mark. For proof coins only, in total over 13.3 billion pennies were minted in 1994. So, what is the value of a 1994 penny today? Well, if you have one in your pocket or change jar, its face value is still one cent. However, for collectors, the condition of the coin plays a huge role in determining its worth. A standard circulated 1994 penny, one that's been used for everyday transactions, is generally worth its face value. But if you have an uncirculated or mint state penny, a penny that hasn't been used and still looks brand new, it can be worth more. Mint state MEM 65 examples from Philadelphia and Denver can sell for around $1 to 2. Proof coins from San Francisco with their mirror-like finish can fetch around $3 to 5 depending on their condition. And of course, rare air coins can be worth significantly more, so be on the lookout for double dies, off-centers, and other unique features. Speaking of errors, some of the most valuable 1994 pennies are the ones that were accidentally misstruck by the U.S. minerers like off-center strikes, double dies, and coins missing their copper plating are highly sought after by collectors. For example, a double die averse error where Lincoln's portrait or the date is doubled can sell for upwards of $50 to $100 depending on its condition. 1948 Lincoln Wheat Penny The 1948 Lincoln Wheat Penny is part of the Lincoln Wheat Penny series which ran from 1909 to 1958. This coin features the iconic image of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and two wheat stalks on the reverse, symbolizing prosperity. 1948 was a year of post-WWII recovery, and pennies like this were part of everyday commerce during that era. Fun fact, the Lincoln cent was the first U.S. coin to feature a real person, and it has been one of the longest-running coin designs in U.S. history. In 1948, the U.S. Mint produced over 317 million Lincoln wheat pennies. These coins were struck at three different mints. Philadelphia Mint No Mint Mark produced over 217 million pennies. Denver Mint D Mint Mark produced around 172 million pennies. San Francisco Mint S Mint Mark produced roughly 81 million pennies. Most of the time, the Philadelphia mintage is the most common, while the San Francisco mintages are often sought after by collectors due to their lower production numbers. 
Let's break down the design and composition of this coin. The obverse front features Abraham Lincoln's profile designed by Victor D. Brenner, while the reverse has the classic wheat ears that give the coin its name. Now, for the material, the 1948 Lincoln 48 Lincoln wheat penny is made of 95% copper, with the remaining 5% being a combination of tin and zinc. This copper-heavy composition gives the penny its distinct reddish-brown color. When it comes to determining the value of your 1948 penny, the condition or grade plays a major role. The coin is graded on a scale with common grades being Good G4, the coin is heavily worn, and Lincoln's features are mostly flat. These typically sell for a few cents. Fine F12, some details are visible and the wear is more moderate. These can be worth around 15 to 20 cents. Very fine VF20 light wear on the highest points and these can fetch between 25 and 50 cents. Extremely fine F40 minor wear and these are valued around $1. Uncirculated mint state meant 60 no signs of wear. If you have a mint state 1948 penny, you're looking at a value between $2 and $5 depending on the mint mark. If you have a high grade penny, especially from the San Francisco mint, your coin could be worth significantly more. The key here is condition and rarity. Now, let's talk about error coins, one of the most exciting aspects of coin collecting. Some 1948 pennies were minted with errors, making them highly collectible. Here are a few to look out for. Off-center strikes, these occur when the coin is not struck perfectly in the center. The more dramatic the off-center, the higher the value, some can be worth $50 or more. Double die verse D, this error happens when the coin is struck twice, creating a doubled image on the front. These are highly sought after and can be worth hundreds of dollars. Repunched mint mark RPM, this error involves the mint mark being punched more than once, and collectors pay good money for well-defined examples. 1934 Wheat Penny The Lincoln Wheat Penny series began in 1909, commemorating the 100th birthday of President Abraham Lincoln. Designed by Victor David Brenner, this penny was the first U.S. coin to feature a president's portrait. The reverse of the coin, up until 1958, featured two wheat ears, symbolizing prosperity and abundance. Now let's talk specifically about 1934. The year followed the Great Depression, one of the most challenging economic periods in U.S. history. By 1934, the nation was slowly recovering under President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal, and coin production increased to support a growing economy. The 1934 Lincoln Wheat Penny was minted at two locations. Philadelphia Mint No Mint Mark. Denver Mint D Mint Mark. In total, over 219 million pennies were minted that year, making this coin relatively common compared to others from the era. Here's the breakdown. Philadelphia Mint, 219,080,000 coins. Denver Mint, 28,446,000 coins. While it's not a rare coin, certain variations and high-quality examples are where the value starts to add up. Let's break down the design of the 1934 Lincoln Wheat Penny. The obverse features the portrait of President Abraham Lincoln with the inscriptions Liberty to his left and the year 1934 to his right. Above Lincoln's head, you'll find the phrase In God We Trust. The reverse showcases two wheat stalks on each side of the coin, framing the words one cent in the United States of America above. You'll see the Latin motto E Pluribus Unum, which means out of many one. Look closely for any mint mark on the obverse right below the date. If there's a D, it was struck in Denver. If there's no mint mark, it's from Philadelphia. Now, the part everyone's been waiting for, the value of the 1934 Lincoln wheat penny. For circulated coins, which show signs of wear and tear, the value is generally modest due to their high production numbers. Here's a rough estimate of their value. Good G4 to fine F12 condition, these coins are worth about 5 to 15 cents. Very fine VF20 to extremely fine F40 expect values between 50 cents to $1 and 50 cents. However, the real value comes in when a 1934 penny is in uncirculated mint state condition. Let's break it down. Mint state 60 mess 60, $6 to $10. Mint State 63 Mess 63, $12 to $20. Mint State 65 M65, $30 to $40 or more. And if you happen to have a proof version, these can fetch significantly higher prices, though 1934 proofs are exceedingly rare. Before you go searching through your pocket change or collections, let's talk about some errors and varieties that can make the 1934 penny even more valuable. One of the most sought after varieties is a double die verse D where parts of the design, especially the date and lettering, appear doubled. Though extremely rare for 1934 pennies, if you find one, it could be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Additionally, always be on the lookout for other minting errors like off-center strikes, die cracks, or re-punched mint marks, especially if you have a Denver minted coin. 1975 Australia 10 Cent Australia introduced decimal currency on the 14th of February 1966, replacing the old pounds, shillings, and pence system. The 10 cent coin, like other denominations, became a staple of everyday transactions. But what makes the 1975 10 cent coin particularly interesting? Design of the 1975 10 cent coin first. Let's talk about the design. The 10 cent coin was designed by Stuart Devlin, a renowned Australian artist known for his intricate designs. 
The obverse side of the coin features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, which was designed by Arnold Mackin. This portrait was standard on Australian coins from 1966 to 1984. The reverse side of the coin showcases a superbly detailed image of a lyre bird, one of Australia's most iconic birds known for its remarkable ability to mimic sounds. On screen text through a Devlin designer lyrebird design, Arnold Mack and Queen Elizabeth II portrait. Now, on to the mintage. In 1975, the Royal Australian Mint produced approximately 46.2 million 10 cent coins. This makes it a relatively common coin in terms of mintage numbers, but that doesn't mean it's not collectible. Many factors can influence the value of a 1975 10 cent coin which we'll discuss next. On screen text, mintage, 46.2 million. There are several key factors that can affect the value of your 1,975 Australia 10 cent coin. Let's break them down. The condition or grade of a coin is one of the most important factors determining its value. Coins in mint uncirculated condition can be worth significantly more than worn coins that have been in circulation for years. Coin grades, poor, fine, extremely fine, uncirculated, proof. Rarity and errors. While the 1975 10 cent coin itself isn't rare in terms of mintage, error coins from this year can be quite valuable. Some examples of errors include off center strikes or die cracks. If you have an error coin, you might be looking at a much higher value. Look for errors like off center strikes, D cracks, clip planchets, demand. Finally, demand among collectors can also drive up prices. Australian 10 cent coins are popular not only in Australia, but globally, especially among collectors of decimal currency. So how much is your 1,975 Australia 10 cent coin worth today? Let's take a look at current market values. Circulated condition, in circulated condition, most 1,975 10 cent coins are worth between 10 and 50 cents, depending on where and tier. Uncirculated condition, if you have a coin in uncirculated condition, it could be worth anywhere from $2 to $10 or more, depending on the grade. Error coins, as mentioned earlier, error coins can fetch a premium. Depending on the type of error, these coins could be worth $50 or more. Circulated $0.10, $0.50, uncirculated $2, $10, error coins $50. If you're looking to start or add to your coin collection, here are a few quick tips. Always handle coins carefully using gloves if possible to avoid damage. Store your coins in a cool, dry place away from humidity and direct sunlight. If you're serious about collecting, invest in a quality magnifying glass and coin holders to protect your coins. 2000 Australia, 10 cent. The Australian 10 cent coin has been part of the country's currency system since decimalization in 1966, when Australia switched from pounds, shillings, and pence to dollars and cents. The 10 cent coin is part of Australia's regular coinage, and the design has remained consistent over the years. However, each year brings its own minor variations, and the 2000 edition is no exception. Let's take a closer look at the design of the 2000 10 cent coin. The obverse, or the front, features the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II designed by Ian Rank Broadley. This portrait was used on Australian coins from 1999 onwards and has been one of the most recognizable images on coins during this period. On the reverse, we have the iconic lyrebird. Designed by Stuart Devlin, the lyrebird symbolizes the unique wildlife of Australia. Its elegant tail feathers stretch across the coin, making it one of the most beloved designs in Australian coinage. In terms of mintage, 2000 saw around 90 million 10 cent coins produced by the Royal Australian Mint. While this isn't considered a particularly low mintage, it's worth noting that certain factors, such as coin condition, can significantly affect the coin's value in today's market. As for rarity, the 2010 cent coin is generally considered common in circulation, but collectors still seek out high quality specimens, especially those in mint or uncirculated condition. Now, let's talk about errors. Coin errors can dramatically increase the value of any coin, and the 2000 Australia 10 cent coin is no exception. Some known errors for this coin include off-center strikes, die cracks, and double strikes. Collectors love error coins because they're rare and often tell a unique story about the minting process. So if you come across one with a noticeable error, you might have a valuable piece on your hands. So what is the value of a 2000 Australia 10 cent coin today? Well, if you have a regular circulation coin, its value is typically around 10 cents unless it's in pristine or uncirculated condition. However, if you have a coin in excellent uncirculated condition, its value can range between 50 cents and $3 AUD depending on demand and condition. Error coins, on the other hand, can fetch much higher prices, sometimes $20 AUD or more depending on the type and severity of the error. To determine whether your 2010 cent coin is valuable, you should carefully inspect it for the following. Condition. Is the coin scratch worn or does it look brand new? Minting errors. Are there any visible strikes, cracks, or anomalies? Rarity. Is it an uncirculated or special variety? The better the condition and the more unique the coin, the higher the potential value. If you're looking to buy or sell a 2000 Australia 10 cent coin, 
There are several options available. Online auction platforms like eBay and specialized coin selling websites, local coin shops or antique stores which often deal in collectible currency, coin fairs or conventions where you can meet other collectors and dealers face to face. Just remember to do your research and get your coin properly appraised before selling. So there you have it, the history, design and value of the 2000 Australia 10 cent coin. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin is a great addition to any collection, especially if you can find one in mint condition or with a rare error. 1966 Australia 10 cents. Let's rewind to 1966, an important year for Australia. It marked the introduction of decimal currency, which replaced the old pound system that had been used for over 150 years. Before decimalization, Australians used pounds, shillings, and pence. But on February 14, 1966, the country officially switched to the dollar and cent system that we know today. As part of this transition, the Royal Australian Mint produced a whole new set of coins, including the 10 cent coin. This was the first 10 cent coin in Australian history. The 1966 Australian 10 cent coin features a striking design that's still in use today. On the obverse, you'll find a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Machen. This was the standard portrait used on Australian coins during that time. Flip the coin over and you'll see the reverse side featuring the beautiful lyrebird, a native bird of Australia. The lyrebird's elaborate tail feathers are depicted in a flowing, artistic style. This design was created by Stuart Devlin, a renowned Australian goldsmith and coin designer. Now let's get into the specifics of the coin itself. The 1966 10 cent coin is made of 75% copper and 25% nickel, giving it that distinct silver color. It weighs 5.65 grams and has a diameter of 23.6 millimeters with a reeded edge. This copper nickel blend makes the coin highly durable, which is why you can still find some 1966 10 cent coins in circulation today. In 1966, over 30 million 10 cent coins were minted at the Royal Australian Mint in Canberra. There were no known errors or major varieties that year, which makes this coin fairly uniform across the board. However, collectors should always keep an eye out for any minting errors or unusual features, as these can significantly increase a coin's value. So what's the value of a 1966 Australian 10 cent coin today? Well, if you have one in circulation condition, it's typically worth around its face value 10 cents. However, if you've got one in mint state or uncirculated condition, you could be looking at values between $2 to $5 USD, depending on the coin's condition and the buyer's interest. While these coins aren't particularly rare, they are the very first year of decimal 10 cent coins in Australia, which gives them historical significance. For collectors, this is a must-have piece if you're putting together a complete collection of Australian decimal currency. As with most coins, the value of a 1966 10 cent coin depends on several factors. These include condition, coins that are in uncirculated or mint state are worth significantly more than heavily circulated coins. Rarity, though the 1966 10 cent coin isn't particularly rare, certain variations or errors could increase its value. Demand, if there's a strong demand for early decimal coins, their value may rise over time. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, the 1966 Australian 10 cent coin is a fascinating piece of history. It represents a pivotal moment in Australia's monetary system and remains a valuable part of any coin collection. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of Australian coins. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth coin videos. And as always, leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see covered. See you next time and happy collecting.